This is Michael Dawes, Director of Public Relations at Barton Community College, and you're tuned in to Cougar Paws on KVGB 1590 AM. Today we're talking with Mike Baugh, he's coordinator and instructor of Barton's Natural Gas Transmission and Distribution Program. And Mike came to Barton about two years ago and built the program from scratch. Um, and uh, just to throw a little plug in, because this month is um, Career Tech uh, Education Month, uh, did you know that uh, Barton Community College is the only college in Kansas that offers an associate's degree uh, in the natural gas pipeline technician field? Um, you can find out more interesting facts on Barton's website at bartonccc.edu. But let's get to the reason why we're here. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Um, you know, I said that about the did you know because that's part of what they've given as one of the uh, questions. But actually, your program is pretty unique nationwide. There aren't too many of these programs out there. I'm not aware of any other college that offers a AAAS degree in natural gas technician. And, uh, you know, we've talked before, uh, it's, it's a much needed uh, uh, situation for our state specifically because we have so many uh, in the workforce who are going to be retiring in the next couple of years. So it's a good uh, program to have here at the college. It certainly is. Uh... We expect maybe uh, 7,000, 7, maybe a little over 7,000 retirements coming up in the next couple of years. Um, the last time I had you on the show, it was in May. You had just graduated your first class uh, through this program, and uh, you had another group coming right on their heels um, to begin the program. So give us an update of that progress and where the program is right now with students. Yeah, we started out uh, with seven students, and uh, Almost all of those graduated and uh, are enjoying uh, much success. The uh, spring 2009 group, we started out uh, with seven traditional students, but we were up to as many as 16 with the addition of working technicians taking individual classes. And these technicians were already working uh, in the natural gas industry and they were attending our program to in increase their skills. Uh, two of the uh, traditional students that started uh, in spring uh, graduated just uh, this past December. Uh, two found work before uh, they completed the degree. They uh, went on with uh, their certificates. And the rest hope to graduate in May 2010. Okay. And I might point out, uh, besides the 64 credit hour uh, degree, Barton also offers the 32 credit hour certificate as well as the 16 credit hour certificate. So if somebody needs to uh, basically hone some skills or get some additional knowledge and they're in the workforce and they can use that for knowledge and to advance, there are those opportunities too. Yes, that's correct. Uh, one of our students last summer, we had a special session last summer, he stopped with the 16 credit uh, certificate. He got a job with one of the wind energy companies, and we've had other students get jobs with just uh, one of the certificates. Okay, and you mentioned though that the students, those first seven, but you had a few. One was from came out of the army. One had been in the workforce for a while. But for the most part, they were traditional uh, age. Now you're starting to see some of these individuals that maybe are crossing over from another industry because of what the promise that uh, this career field holds uh, as far as maybe somebody's been displaced or I mean are you seeing more of that where you got these uh, non-traditionals who are now looking at this as a great opportunity to, to go into the field? Absolutely uh, thanks to the poor economy uh, we uh, we came across the Workforce Investment Act which is a grant for displaced workers and the summer session which I mentioned earlier it was a special session working uh, in tandem with Kansas Works and our entire class last summer were displaced workers. Uh, the fall class that started uh, last August also has a few displaced workers in it. Okay. Um, you know that degree program it's quite a load. I mean we talked about last time about you can't miss a day really and, and unless you're on your deathbed you, you make sure you make it to class. Uh, it's eight hours a day. It's basically a full-time job uh, five days a week. So it's a commitment but it's accelerated so you know where you're starting and end point are. It seems like it's quite a lot of motivation. Yeah if you can get through that year of school basically uh, you got a great career in front of you. 
That's true. And, uh, another good thing about the accelerated format, if there is a class that's particularly challenging or difficult, the good news is it'll be over in one or two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could withstand it and actually make the passing grade, that's a good thing. But it's going through those two, that two-week process. And that's good, though, because that's a program that challenges you. So you know when you're in the field, after you've gone through this program, that you can cut the mustard pretty much anywhere. That is true. Um, this field is, uh, is dynamic partly because there is tremendous push to create clean energy nowadays. Uh, you mentioned that the, uh, you know, the, the part, partly because of the next couple of years, nearly 7,500 workers in Kansas uh, in this field are going to be uh, retiring. How do you anticipate that demand will affect your program? I mean, are you getting a little concerned here? You can't do it at 12 or, or 15 students a, a semester kind of thing. I mean, what, what do you project is going to happen here? Well, that's an interesting question. When the program first started, we had a lot of support from industry. Uh, they paid a lot of visits to our students and uh, gave a lot of pep talks and took a lot of applications. And then when the economy took a downturn, it seemed like we didn't hear quite as, uh, quite as much from them, but at, after the first of this year, uh, I noticed a distinct uh, improvement in the number of contacts we've been getting from industry, and many, many jobs have opened up just since the first of the year. Okay, we're gonna talk about some exciting information when we come back. Uh, right now, we're gonna take a break from Cougar